Hi, welcome to Five Writers, Five Minutes podcast and YouTube channel where we take you behind the scenes of our writing process and our books. My name is Zanny Louise. I'm Tristan Banks. I am Deborah Abella. I'm Sarah Armstrong. I'm Lee and Tanner. So today I'm interested in how we write our opening scenes because, of course, the opening of a book is so, so important for grabbing the reader and pulling them into our story. What's your opening scene process look like, Tristan? Kids always ask this, how do you start a story? Because they get yeah. stuck, right? They have an idea and they're like, I don't know where to start. And the answer for me, I, I actually, on Cop and Robber and Scar Town, I've been reading them my zero draft, my very dodgy draft out of the notebook from years ago. And then the final version of that and just contrasting the two and showing them that actually you start anywhere that you'll come up with that day that you sit down to write the book. It's whatever comes out and that's where you've begun. And then when you read it back, it's terrible and you change it or you chop it off or you realize you've started way too early and with all the brushing the teeth and getting ready for school and jumping in the car, you didn't need that. All you needed was when the bus explodes and that's where you're gonna, you know. Um, so I think the answer, my answer is always dive in, jump in, be bold, write a bad opening so that in five drafts time, you'll, you'll find the actual beginning of the story. Mm, yeah that. and I think you can't be afraid to throw stuff away like I love that Tristan that you had you had that great idea you just kind of slammed it down and then kind of when you wrote more realized actually that's not the beginning and in fact it may not make it I, I love that so much it's a messy messy process so don't be too precious about your ideas because when you have a better idea is that's a great thing right to throw away the idea that was there I know with the book of wondrous possibilities I wanted to start bang like chapter one first paragraph first sentence um Lizette rushes into the bookshop where Arlo lives and says quick you have to help me so you know by the end of the first sentence you're like what hang on a second and then very very quickly after that I did not want to let the pace um, go so the very first chapter it's exactly what you said Tristan I didn't want brushing of teeth or just yeah. all details I just wanted bam straight away and I wanted to get out of that chapter quite quickly too so I wanted it very very clear what the trouble in that chapter was going to be mm. yeah I'm, I'm, I'm all for setting up the trouble really quickly and it might change uh, and like Tristan I'll just begin writing anywhere in a, in a first draft but I'm always thinking how can I start with something that's going to hook the reader, something happening? How can I raise a question in the reader's mind when they open the book? The opening line of Big Magic is, the day my mother disappears, the sky is the most dazzling blue I've ever seen Ooh, it. So, because I wasn't getting first kind of, line. <laughs> so it was just kind of like I wanted the reader to go, hang on, what? Hang yeah, on, so, yeah. Because it was going to take me a little while to get to the mum disappearing. So I guess I'm always thinking about raising a question in the reader's mind so that they're going, oh, what, what mm. do they mean by that? Mm. Oh, what, what's going to happen? How are they going to solve this problem? So, yeah, I think about trouble and I think about questions and I think about action, stuff happening, people doing stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I agree with everything people have said so far, but I also want to say that the beginning and the end of a story are the hardest parts of a story for me. And I often don't write them until I've written nearly everything else. So, mm. I've, you know, I've got the whole story. I know where everything happens. And then I go back and write the beginning because that that first scene in a story is so important. You, you know, you sort of launch into it and throw it down on the paper. But when you come down to back to have a look at it, it, it has to tell the reader so much, like, is this story going to be a funny story or a serious story? Is it set mm. in the middle of S Sydney or is it set in Antarctica? Is mm. it set now or 200 years ago? So that first scene tells the reader all sorts of interesting stuff. So I like to start uh, just before something changes. So the main character's going about their everyday yes. life and we see a tiny, tiny bit of that, but then something happens that yes. throws them into the story. Maybe somebody arrives like Lisette in, in the Book of Wondrous Possibilities, or maybe somebody receives a letter, or maybe a dragon steals their parents, but something happens and that's when the story really starts. Yes, I love that. And when I'm teaching writing classes to kids, I talk about it as the character's normal and then, yeah, something happens. I think for me, I probably start with voice, with character, and the voice 
almost pops into my head and and it's a character who tells me how to start the story and rarely I do change from those early drafts you know it, often the the first little bit is still actually in the book uh with my next novel Cora Seen and Heard that was an interesting one because I did have you know quite a strong voicey opening where the character's looking into the mirror and convincing herself that, you know, she's this new person, this new version of herself. And you guys were really positive about that opening chapter. I and reading it, yeah. Yeah, and when I went back mm. to story structure and story craft and I got a bit of advice from someone and they were like, oh, you know, like we need to have a setup chapter. We need to see her in her normal before something happens. So I did go and do that version. And I remember you reflecting back to me going, oh, miss that other version you know that that strong voicey opener and I've gone back to that actually um so kind of go flip back in time but I think for me it's voice character that's what pulls me into the story as a writer and what I'm interested in and what I want to know more on so yeah I think that's probably where I start my opening scenes Ooh, well guys good. that was awesome I've learned so much thank you as always you are all so inspirational Thank For you. everyone out there, I hope you have a great, exciting start to your story and lots of inspiration uh, to keep writing. Uh, check out our other episodes on YouTube or on the podcast, and we'll see you next week. See ya. See you. Bye. 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 Bye.